Blessing, 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 blessing. So we back home and we got the third and final installment of the Concepts Message to the Universe collection. And I have to say, personally for me, this is the best one out of the three. I definitely think the first one, which was the Mellow, was really great. And the second one, I wasn't too much of a fan of. So for me, I think this is going to be my favorite one. However, I do think the Mellow and the Heavy are more wearable. But I love the details more specifically on this model because it just stands out and it kind of just brings everything all together in this final package. And speaking about packaging, as you guys can see, we have the best of the three right here. So this was actually the only release out of the three that gave the special boxing. I am extremely happy that they actually gave it out to the public because when it initially came out, I thought it was only gonna be friends and family. So I'm so happy that they was able to just package this whole experience. And yeah, guys, I gotta give another huge shout out to my mom because she was the one that won me this pair. So big shout out to you, mom, Dukes. I already put you in the video. So appreciate you for this W. So guys, I wanna give you a whole entire unboxing experience with this because there's a lot of details that's going on. People were complaining about the $230 price tag, but you guys have to see if you have this in hand, there's a lot of details going on. So starting off at the top of the box, as you guys can see, we have these kind of psychedelic 1960s concepts on it. So it actually says the truth was still not my answer that's what i'm assuming it says right here because this is not too clear to me but next when we actually go right here we can actually see that it says concepts if you actually flip this box over to this side you can actually see that it says air unit forever so that's just all the details on the top of the lid next when we go into the side of the lid as you guys can see right here the box is actually used to mimic a 1960s and 1970s hippies van so as you can see on this side, we can see the windows on the side of the car. Then when we actually look right here, you can see we have the entrance to the car. And then we also have some more passenger doors as well. But also what's really dope is the fact that it says life, love, concepts. So next one we go into the back of the lid now, as you guys can see right there, you can actually see the rear view window as well as the trunk. And then if we actually look very closely right there, it says March 1969. Massachusetts Concepts as the license plate. And we also have our brake lights right there, which is really fire. Then when we go into the other side of the van, now we have some more windows, and we also have some ventilation right there, as well as another door entrance. And then it actually says, fresh, clear mind, air maximum. And obviously this air maximum is a play on on the Nike Air Max. And finally, when we go into the front of the box or the front of the car, you can actually see our driver and passenger windows. And we also have the front of the car right here with our lights as well as this beautiful Phoenix Concepts logo right there, which is really fire. One more detail that I wanted to add is the fact that on the bottom of the lid, you can actually see some more psychedelic imagery right here, which is really fire in my opinion. And that pretty much concludes the box details. So when we open the lid now, you can actually see that we have our standard Concepts box. However, I just wanted to highlight some more psychedelic concept detailing right there, as well as another symbol right there. So once we remove this box now, I'm gonna put this to the side since that's huge. We have our standard Nike Concepts box. So I'm not gonna go over this because I already went over this in the mellow review so once we open this now we have this beautiful detail right here so look at this we have a 1969 concepts customized bandana so i'm just going to open it for y'all and show y'all the extra detail that's in there man because this is a super look at this look at this man so more concept logo right there and what's really funny is the fact that when i was waiting online with my mom there was somebody who actually put this bandana on their dog, which was really fire. So anybody who saw that at the New York City drop, be sure to comment that in the comment section down below. So here we have some concept stickers right here, which is really dope. And we have some more concept stickers. I think we have about four in total. And it's just really dope, guys. Just look at all this extra packaging detail. And again, people were complaining about the fact that it's $230, which was a huge up hike on the retail. However, I do believe that this was an amazing special packaging, guys. Like, look at this. This is an air freshener. And let me just... I don't smell anything right now, but hopefully once I open this, it actually gives off a smell. So I'll be sure to let y'all know how that smells later. And then we also have this poncho right here, which is really dope. And I don't think it's gonna have the hippie detailing on here. However, that's just some nice packaging, man. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Then we have this detail right here. And I really love it due to the fact that it's supposed to mimic vinyl. However, I don't think this is a playable disc. It actually reminds me of a Nintendo GameCube disc, which is really fire still. So let me know what you guys think about this as well in the comment section down below. That's pretty much all the detailing, guys. I really don't see why people are complaining about it. Like, if you're trying to resell, then obviously that's going to cut into your margins. However, if you want the shoe just because you want the shoe, then you're getting an overall fire package, guys. So now, let's just get right into the review of the shoe, man. So once we open this Takashi Murakami-like flower, we have our regular white tissue paper. And then we have the final part of the show. So let me know what you guys think about this shoe, man. It's really dope in my opinion. 
and definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite out of the three. But I definitely think it's the best out of the three due to the fact that it's the third and final installment and the fact that this comes with some special packaging. I love extra details like that. And as a concept VIP who gets early access to a lot of their stuff, I'm definitely a huge fan of the special detailing. And that's why I think the brand is called Concepts because they create a storyline, they create a concept around that storyline, give you some of the best packaging and detailing, and then give you a fire shoe behind it. So for Air Max Day, I'm really happy that they was able to create this third and final product and give it to the public, man. So now starting off with the toe box of the shoe, somebody from the community actually gave me an answer on what the slash star and crescent moon means. And I have to give a big shout out to Mel Lee. And what they said was that these symbols actually are found on the original Woodstock ticket. And since it was a three day festival, each symbol represented a different day of the festival. So again, big shout out to Mel Lee. I got to give you a huge shout out for that answer because I did not know what the concept of this really meant. So again, thank you. So next when we go into the mud guard, as you guys can see, we have that bandana print that was very similar to the mellow pair. However, instead of it being in that kind of navy blue black colorway, it's in this purple colorway. Next when we go onto the horse hair area now, instead of having that calm horse hair, we actually have have this nice brown and white horse hair which is really fire in my opinion then when we go onto the laces now you can actually see that we have a brighter red so it's not as maroon as the first mellow pair it's kind of like in contrast in that so it's like this kind of bright red and next when we focus closer onto the tongue you can actually see that it's made out of that velour velvet material which is really nice and it's in this kind of bright red colorway as well then finally, when we go onto the tongue tab, which is really dope in my opinion, we have our vintage Nike logo right there, and then we have the Concepts Hippie font right there, which is really dope. Now we're focusing on the lateral side of the shoe. As you can see, we have that nice denim material, and it's not as dark or multicolored as the other pairs. However, it's in that clean light wash. Then when we focus onto the Nike check right there, we have a blue and lime green striped Nike check, which is really dope. Next, we're going onto the ankle collar area. As you guys can see right there, we have more of that Concepts logo, but in a different color format. And I I do like the way it looks because it makes the shoe pop even more. Then when going on to the Nike check right there, I really love this detailing and I don't know if it's by accident because everybody's print is different. But if you actually look closer on my pair, you see where the Air logo is right here. If you look even closer there's a nike check connected to the eye so that's really fire in my opinion and i don't know if everybody has that but i definitely like that it looks like that on my pair and of course these are other details that i mentioned in the mellow video we have some loose stitchings right here which again plays into that kind of vintage look which is really fire and then again on the lower cut of the shoe you can see that we have more of that purple bandana print next one going on to the medial side of the shoe you guys can see that the same thing pretty much follows suit however we have my favorite detailing of the nike check logo right here on this concept collaboration and it really really gives off that Takashi Murakami vibe and that's really why I love it so much. Next when we focus on the midsole of the shoe, you guys can see that we have an all white midsole. However, if you focus on the speckles, it's supposed to conceptualize stepping on mud like if you were in a festival and anybody who's been to a three day festival knows what that feels like. So that's a really dope concept that they was able to add onto the shoe. And then of course we have our standard Air Max One bubble that is visible to see, which is really dope. Then finally going on to the outsole of the shoe, we have this kind of sand colored outsole with that beautiful Nike air max one traction and i just love that detail it's just so fire then next we have this beautiful guitar pick which is standard to the concept air max collection however i think this is the best of the three due to the fact that the marble just matches really nicely with the turquoise and it also has those beautiful yellow hits of the nike and concepts logo on the other side and that's pretty much going to conclude this side of the shoe so next when we look at the other side the same thing pretty much follows suit all over however we do get two extra pairs of laces so we have these bright red laces in the velour material and and we also have white laces to make the shoe pop more. One final detail that I have to add is this royal blue insole with unique patterning on it. And then if you actually compare it with the other shoe, it kind of makes the whole thing. So that's just a really fire detail that Concepts added, man. And guys, that's pretty much gonna conclude the review. So let's get right into this on full look, all right?
so that's going to conclude the review as well as the on for look and i really hope you all enjoyed this video as much as i did making it this is definitely one of my favorite out of the three probably number one but it's definitely between this and the mellow like they're super fire but what gives this sneaker the edge is definitely the special packaging with all the extra detailing and then just the fact that it just brings all three of them together and makes this one final beautiful product let me know what you guys think about this sneaker in the comment section down below also let me know what's your favorite sneaker out of the pack they are really unique in each and every way. The heavy pair just doesn't hit home for me personally, but I have spoken to a lot of people who really think that pair is the best out of the three. So guys, I'm just curious to know what you all think. So other than that, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends and your family. Be sure to smash that like button, guys. You guys have been rock stars and just pushing my algorithms and just making everything better for this channel. So again, I'm grateful for all of you. And other than that, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.